Hey there ladies and gentlemen, today I have a wonderful battle for you against Raichu 0123. Uh, the story behind this battle was that we had it right before the June tier updates and I did not want to make a new team, so uh, luckily Raichu 0123 wanted a box roulette match, so I was like, yes, that works for me because now I can just throw together a bunch of Pokemon from Gen 5 and below that I made previously. Um, selected randomly, and you know, I actually didn't get the best team, like I have that freaking Meganium which is completely useless, it was on my PU team, and I even discerned it was uh, too crappy for my PU team. So he has a Chandelure, and I'm like, oh, huge threat. Uh, interestingly carrying the Citrus Berry, maybe this was one from his VGC team, um, but so I just Volt Switch right out with my Rotom Mo, which used to be the lead on my RU team, and I go out into HCHB, my Caracosta, those of you who watched my old Gen 5 battles, uh, surely remember this Caracosta. This Caracosta, or the different variants of it, you know, swept more than a Hoover vacuum. In fact, I actually had, uh, at one point, a Caracosta named Hoover, although not related to the vacuum, even though it did a lot of sweeping. Um, Hoover was related to the same thing as HCHB. HCHB stands for Hoover, uh, Herbert C. Hoover Building. Uh, which is a building in DC that used to house the DC Aquarium, which had adorable little turtles in it. Unfortunately, that um, aquarium has now closed because sadness, although it was a really sad aquarium to begin with. Anyway, uh, long digression. I go out into Meganium here. We should hopefully be able to wall this guy. Dev, I believe, doesn't actually run any attacking moves, but I sh unless he carries the Ice Beam, I should still wall him, so that should be okay. I predict the switch into whoever and go for the light screen. Luckily, it's Chandelure, so that's that's pretty awesome. So, um, attacks will be... Special attacks from this guy will not do quite as much damage. Still, I don't want to take an overheat, so I switch out into Starlooker, who is my Embor. I love, love, loved using Embor on an NU team of mine way, ba way back when, but then uh, Embor went to RU and never was able to use it again, and that was the saddest thing. Uh, I'm hoping to use Embor again on an NU team, that would be nice, but I'm going to wait until NU becomes official in like two months, three months. Anyway, go for the Earthquake, uh, should hit most Pokemon on this team, I think anyone but Hulk show up. Uh, does still want to switch out, uh, we got Deb who should 100% be able to wall um, this guy. So if he goes for a waterfall, that's fine, not really fearing much from a waterfall, and as you see it doesn't do very much damage. Uh, so he's going to switch out, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to, I think I set up my Reflect here, oh uh, no no no, I don't know. I go for the Leech Seed, because that's the only way I'm going to be able to get damage off on anyone, and it works well on a switch, because I don't think he has, oh he has, he has one Grass type, he could have switched out into Vileplume. But, um, you know, th that was a chance I was willing to take. So, I am seated his uh, Chandelure, and that's awesome. I go ahead and switch it out now, back out into HCHB. HCHB doesn't have, um, I think at some point I ran leftovers all the time I run, ran Lumberry. This time I'm trying weakness policy, so I'm kind of baiting... I'm hoping that someone uses a super effective move against this guy. I think it's got Solid Rock too, so I'm really hoping for a physical... Um, a physical attack there because his special attack is less or special defense is lower than his physical defense. Anyway, just take out the chandelier with an aqua jet. It was time. Um, out now is going to be this guy, and I think it might have the earthquake. And maybe I should have just stayed in and I don't know, gone for the shell smash, but I, was, I didn't want to play around with that just now. So again, I'm predicting the earthquake. It said he goes for avalanche. I'm like, oh no, 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 no. Uh, Tachikoma takes massive amount, well actually not that much damage considering it's super effective, and I didn't get off the reflect, so not sure why I didn't do more damage. Uh, anyway, out now is Halchua, I just go for the Leaf Storm here, and I think, oh that was an excellent prediction, but it still does more than half, and that wasn't a crit or anything, I'm not spexed, I'm scarfed, um, Halchua is just kind of a frail Pokemon. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and switch out here into my Sigilyph, I honestly do not remember when I made the Sigilyph or why. Um, I clearly was playing around with Sigilyph at some point, trying to put it on some team, but honestly I can't remember when I used the Sigilyph. So uh, he's got the Rock Slide, really wise, oh, so this guy uh, doesn't carry the Psychic, carries the Air Slash that's attacking move. it's mo mostly Psycho Shift, and really it should have, should have the Burn Orb, not the Toxic Orb, I think, um, if I'm going to be Psycho Shifting. So, 
Oh, no, it doesn't matter, it's not. So anyway, uh, against Alakazam, I'm like, oh crap, if this is Mega Alakazam, this could seriously ruin my day. Although if it's Mega Alakazam, then it doesn't have Poker Sash, and I can take it out with, an, uh, with a uh, Aqua Jet. But anyway, I go for the Tailwind anyway, uh, turns out to be a good move. Now I can hit him with an Air Slash, break his Sash if he has it, and even though um, K is going to die this turn, to, to a charge beam, I'm really okay with that. So um, so he does get the special attack raise, but again, HCHB has the Aqua Jet, and now that uh, it doesn't have, and Alakazam's are frail as anything. So yeah, he's gonna switch out. And I think I predict that switch out, and I'm thinking he should be faster, and he should hit me with a charge beam. And if he does, then I get my weakness policy activated, and he shouldn't die. So I go for the Shell Smash, and at this point I'm thinking, you know what? Let me go ahead and do the cow. Can I take out this Swampert with a low kick? Um, yeah, low kick is one of the moves I have on here because it hits lots of Pokemon for neutral effective, and I think I think water plus fighting gets almost perfect coverage. And I do manage to take him out. Now it was with a crit. I don't think that crit mattered. I will post the couch in the description. Anyway, now it is going to be Vile Plume. I go for the Stone Edge, I, I calculated I was pretty sure this would KO, and indeed it does. So, uh, I've got a little sweep going on. Yeah, HCHB smashes again, and is going to do w another sweep, back for old posterity's sake. I go ahead and do an Aqua Jet against his Alakazam. There was not going to be any problem there. Uh, not, it just wasn't going to be a problem. Uh, and last out now is going to be his um, Cloudsir. I was actually expecting the center of the Cloudsir a lot sooner to see if he could, uh, I would have... I guess they don't often run Aqua Jet, although they can. So I take him out, and I have just swept through his entire team uh, with my uh, Caracasta. So that is freaking awesome. It was so nice to see a Caracasta sweep again after all this time. I hope you folks enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.